whip. It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see the teams from Broadway Joe's Guaranteed and Super Bowl III. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the New York Jets, and it's all up next. The bright lights of Broadway just to the east of us, and we are under the lights as well at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. And tonight, we've got an AFC matchup in store for you, as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the New York Jets. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Here's a punter, Thomas Morstead, to get this one started. And off we go from MetLife Stadium. This fielded right at the goal line. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by Gardner Minshew, six-round selection in 2019 out of Washington State. And how about this young man? Took the NFL world by storm as a six-round rookie, signature mullet, mustache, but 21 touchdowns for the Jacksonville Jaguars. Great personality, and everyone gravitates towards this guy. Teammates love to win with a quarterback who leads them like that, and fans love to root for a guy who seems just like them. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Two yards to go, second down. Again, it's Taylor. And he'll get about two there to the 36. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. That quick throw there is incomplete. Coverage and decided to test them early, but it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20 yard line. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They are led out by a former number two overall pick in the draft from BYU, it's Zach Wilson. And we all know the scouting report on him. He can attack the field at all levels with a very strong arm and make big time plays off schedule. We also see a player with confidence and swagger. We see a guy who knows how to lead a team, who knows how to compete and wants to be great every time he hits the field. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 22. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. And got his man complete. Down to the 10. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Garrett Wilson, 78 yards. 
And the Jets will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Zerline connects on the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Well, the offense wasn't out there for a long time, but they were out there for a good time. One play, and they're able to hit pay dirt. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out a little extra emotion. So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. You almost get a mulligan then on that first drive. Sometimes it absolutely serves that way. You get a second opportunity, nothing big happened. But then again, you didn't commit any mistakes either. Off you go. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now a throw here to his running back, and he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and now one yard to go on third down. The defense is ready for the back to leak out, and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to double the back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. I like his focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I think I like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. They'll go play action here with Minshew. And this will be swung out wide for Taylor. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch at its second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Here's Minshew. Throw here is incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes. Is that to fly? Trapped it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. A 
Off play action, it's Minshew. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. And the defense coming through on third down, a loss of seven to bring up forward. Chalk that one up to bad acting, I guess, because they certainly failed to sell the handoff, and the pressure stayed keyed in on the quarterback. No Oscar awards for this offense, just a loss of yardage. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. First down, they start out with a Vanakanda. Brought down around the 16 or 17. Had a nice move, but couldn't free much space. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, he left no doubt about that one because even though he hasn't left the pocket, he's got a receiver in the area, so it's not grounding, even though there is no way that ball was going to be caught. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Juju Brents. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first-round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You call that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. And they'll begin by running the option. And he will cross the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. From the 29, here's second down and seven. Off the option, here's Taylor. Down to the 25. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. Minshew sets to throw. Throw there, going to be incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups. And they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. Right hash mark, a 42-yard attempt. And Gay knocks this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. On the return is Xavier Gibson. 
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The New York set to take the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. To about the 33-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down and six now. From the gun, it's Wilson. Allen Lazard. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Time to give some credit to the big fellas, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. On first and 10, it's Hall. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Now Wilson on second down. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 26. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not only going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Running left, it's home. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try to keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Second and six. Wilson. And his throw is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Wilson. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Zerline's kick is up and through, and they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know, there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no win, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. the punter out to kick it off. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. 
just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Throwing on first down is Minshew. That's caught. It's Josh Downs. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun is Minshew. And that's into the hands of Mo Alley Cox, the tight end. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. He's going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. To punt on fourth down, here's Rigoberto Sanchez. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. 10-3 our score after one here on EA Sports. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one just goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Here's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hall. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Pretty good location there on that throw. It really was, wasn't it? That was like the one where the receiver was either going to catch it or no one. Really good decision. And boy, what a catch and move right there. And a tough spot to get it over the middle. Wilson will throw again. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game. And it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. 
Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Nice, satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Now Wilson. They'll find Lazard here over the middle. And they'll get him to the ground. And he has another first down at the Colts 40. The jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. This pass out wide to Hall. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On second down, a run with Hall. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Officially, no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On third down, Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get him to the ground, and he has another first down at the Colts' 15-yard line. That one good for 24 yards. And that's well executed there on third down, and I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try to find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Straight ahead is Hall. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. And they'll come up second and seven. Throwing is Wilson. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. Well, this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Now it's Wilson. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Zach Wilson taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Jets have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Oh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left. And he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So he makes a decision to go and wins the race to the byline. The zero line now for the PAT. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it was Zach Wilson who took it in himself on the touchdown run to cap it off. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. 
And now Indianapolis set to take the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off of the end zone. Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. He'll dump this off to Taylor complete, and he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Minshew. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. It's going to be another frustrating end to a drive here. This offense, they've not been able to get anything going in this first half. And now it's going to be time to gather on the sidelines and try to figure out what's going wrong. Who has an idea? Who has a plan? Time to implement it. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. A 40-yard punt given three on the return. And the Jets will take over first and ten. New York ready to go again offensively. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. They'll start on the ground. Hall. That's a good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48 yard line. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Tackle made by Zaire Franklin. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Here's Wilson to throw. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. To throw is Wilson. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Samson Abukum. Drops him for a loss of 14 yards, and it also brings up fourth down. I think this defense, Charles, realizing the deficit they're facing, they're going to have to step up and make more plays like we just saw there. Yeah, and those are the type of plays that can focus a defense because, as we know, they've had their trouble so far in this one. But they just proved to themselves that they can get to him, and I expect them to continue to bring that type of pressure in order to try and turn around their fortunes. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. A deep to return is Josh Downs. Fielded at the 20. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially, and the Colts will go on offense here first and 10. Indianapolis offense ready to go again. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter 
run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Looking to throw it. Minshew. And that was going to be off target and incomplete. I would say it would probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers in that one because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long next series before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. The Colts on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and seven. Now Minshew. Here's a diving catch right side. His first catch of the game. Good for 11 and a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Minshew, first and ten. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The good signal callers will never go back in the huddle and play the late game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Minshew. A short throw. This is caught by Cox. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there. And they pick up the first down. Minshew. Oh, and that is incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Now a second and ten. Again, Minshew looking to throw. That one finds Pierce right side. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 34-yard line. 14 yards that time for number 14. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Minshew sets to throw. And a dangerous throw there on the drop off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. Second and ten. It'll be Minshew again. That's going to be caught by Allie Cox. And they're going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one.
So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throw left side taken in by Pittman. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Josh Downs. In the final seconds of the first half. And the Colts are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Until that late score here in the second quarter, they'd only had the field goal. So that's just big to see that football get into the end zone. Yeah, when you look at the scoreboard now, nothing seems out of reach. They've been outplayed in the first half. But when the clock hits zeros as they head into the half, you know what I do as a head coach? What? I tell my team to sprint to the locker room to show that we've got the momentum and show that we're right back in this game. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that slices the lead down to 17-10. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We were treated to a strong first half from the former number two overall pick, Zach Wilson. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. Okay, coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. One touchdown is the difference. 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And the Jets going to take over on offense to begin this third quarter. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 22. Throwing to start the drive, Wilson. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Quiddy Pay getting in there and burying him behind the line. I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, with talking with his defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. A sack like that, maybe that can get him going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said. And they got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position to find a way to win the game. 
On second and a long way to go. Wilson. Well, he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Wilson. Steps away to his left. And they'll get him down here at the 23. A big pickup, 18 yards, but they still stop him well short of the marker. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And taken right at the 35. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Good starting field position for the Colts as they have it first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Second down, another run with Taylor. And shutting the tackle, and now some room. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 55 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Thought they were going to have him down a lot earlier, but he was able to shed that tackle. Shows the value of the weight room, doesn't it? Shows the value of the attitude when you run the football. Don't go down easily. Break a few tackles. Gain some additional yardage. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. his hands quickly to Pittman and they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25 another nice gain 13 yards that time and another first down was that a design pass or what was that it was built into the play call he had the opportunity to either hand it inside keep it himself to run it or do what he just did throw that pass inside hitting a receiver on the run now Minshew on first and 10 and a quick throw here that's complete. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Here's second and seven. They'll go play action here with Minshew. Throw out right, pulled in by Downs. And all the way down inside the five and the four. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. Taylor is into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And, partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine. But going ahead and scoring here, an extra point away from tying things up, that's exactly how they drew it up on the board. Gay is on for the point after. And he gets it to go, and we're all even, 17 apiece. A drive that time of six plays, and it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Bring 
So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Another drive coming up for New York's offense. We got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown. So every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. Open man here is Conklin. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Paul on a give up the middle. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. 38-yard line, second and nine. Wilson. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Wilson. And that will be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. One of those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Colts are going to take over, albeit deep in their own territory. Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their own 13. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Here's second and 10. They're going to look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. They'll run the option on third and short yardage. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Well, so much for that possession. Yeah, I think he tried to do a little too much there, partner. He tried to keep it himself. Ended up getting buried in the backfield, and that brings up fourth down. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Jets will take over. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old school coaches don't necessarily mind that. 
didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. On second down, here's Wilson. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, as we all know, possessions are crucial in a tie game. And let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. On third down, Wilson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Oh, big time credit. What a play design there. They wanted to get him loose in the open field, and they succeeded. He had all sorts of room to operate in, and they finally track him down inside the five-yard line. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Here's Wilson. A check down complete to Hall. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage back to the four-yard line. It'll go as a loss on the play. Now what you need down here, it's going to be second and goal. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They're going to run this with a tight end. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone. But that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing. And as a player, that means an awful lot. On third and goal, Wilson. Got a man, it's caught. Touchdown. Jets. The two Wilson, Zach and Garrett teaming up there. And the Jets have taken the lead. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So the drive there took six plays. And Garrett Wilson capped things off with a touchdown grab. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And Dallas Flowers going to bring this out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Colts set to take over here offensively. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 83 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set. Fifth defensive back on the field. 
and they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. On second down, it's Taylor. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to pose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. Oh, the option to give to Taylor here. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Off play action, it's Minshew. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Looking to throw it. Minshew. Got a man. It's Pittman, and he holds it in for the Colts touchdown. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And no sweat, he puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Now this offense and Gary Wilson headed back out. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 24. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson, that's complete right side to Lazard.
Here's a second and five. Throwing is Wilson. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. And in the second half of a tie game, every decision gets magnified. And here, if he forces this ball, it could be intercepted. So that's the prudent play to just airmail it out of bounds. The Jets on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This will be third and five. Now it's Wilson. And that will be incomplete as well. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good 10 feet over everyone's head. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. Fair catch, signal four, and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and out will come the offense as they take over. First and 10, Taylor now. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. 134 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's gone on. There was a great article in the paper yesterday about how he likes to run angry. <laughs> Plays like that, you can feel it, can't you? As long as he doesn't drive angry, we're okay. Because when he's on the field, that anger works for him. It fuels him, it powers him, and the end result runs like that. Back to Taylor on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and eight. They run once more with Taylor. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. That good for 19 and a first down. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. Minshew, first and 10. That's complete to Pierce. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Throwing on first down is Minshew. To the right side and into the hands of the tight end, Branson. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive will take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. This will be play number seven on the drive, third and a yard. Minshew's going to keep it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Gardner Minshew, a three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Colts have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead.
Did you see them hold up four fingers to the start of the fourth quarter? They yeah, were ready. They were definitely ready. They may or may not have done that, but they certainly have played that way. The fourth quarter has belonged to them, and now the lead belongs to them as well. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and they will take a seven-point lead. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. On the return is Gibson. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. And now out come the Jets. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 37. Now Hall to start the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. DeForest Buckner using that size to force his way in there and make the stop behind the line. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Wilson's throw here pulled in by Lazard. It'll be a gain of five. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. They'll give to Hall. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. They work now on second and nine. Now Wilson. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Only able to gain a couple there. Third and seven now. I like the thought process. I like the design, but I think he may have waited a little too long to spot his man because if you're going to run that drag route, you've got to put it on him and let him turn up field. Instead, he waits until his receiver's too close to the sideline and they don't get the yards after the catch. Now Wilson. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Wilson. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Now Wilson on first down. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Another try, second and ten now. Here's Wilson. That's complete to Lazard. 
They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Here now, third down. Wilson will throw again. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And he is going to have a Jets first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert there on third and one. Throwing now is Wilson. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Cobb. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. They drive some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Here's a second and seven. Wilson to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his helmet. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Here's Wilson. He gets it underneath to Hall. And down inside the 15 he goes. That's a nice job right there, partner, because they were able to work down the middle of the field, working in the seams, because I think defensively, they were guarding the sidelines, trying to keep them from getting out of bounds. They took what they gave them, and it was successful. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Now Wilson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. All right, let's just put it on the table real quick here. This is two-minute drill. you got to know they're looking for their number one receiver. Yeah, you think they'd be ready for that? That time, they weren't. Here we go, first and goal. All right, boys, let's keep it up. He'll look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it, and oftentimes, knock it away. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Zerline now for the PAT. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And the touchdown and PAT mean we are tied here in the final minute of play. This one all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as it kicks away here. On the return, here's Dallas Flowers. A yeah, dangerous return man showing it here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. And the Colts getting ready to go. 
They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. Look at the clock, a decent amount of time here in a tie game. What do they do? No panic situation at all. They've got to get a couple of chunk plays, pick up nice bits of yardage. Target the sidelines. Target the sidelines because you want to get out of bounds and make sure that clock stops. Because if the clock stays running, that makes things that much tougher for you. It can always bleed out on you. Now Minshew. That's complete to Pierce. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Second and six coming up. Minshew. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Here's third and six. Here's Minshew. And that is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll come on to kick for a sixth time tonight. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Here's first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll be taken down after a gain of eight. And defensively, they'll say, you can have that. the game how much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled So it's the Colts who are going to get a chance to win it here first as we're back underway in overtime. On the return, it's Flowers. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Now Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. 
from the gun. It's Taylor. He takes this for three to the 29. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. What will they draw up to try to keep this opening drive of overtime moving? Third and seven. Minshew sets to throw. This one finds Pierce on the out route. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it, it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just looking down at this with a naked eye, it looks like they have about a yard and a half. Any chance they go for it here? There's a chance, but I have to say, pop the ball here. Get rid of this thing and try and help your defense a little bit. I know there's that temptation, and I know people have it on their play sheet. I have that one play that'll get me what I need, but if you don't get it, you pretty much handed the game to the other team. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points, and now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal, and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old-school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Even against double coverage, he found enough of an opening for a noticeable gain. Two guys on him, yet he finds a way to uncover downfield for the completion. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Handoff, running left, here's Hall. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. On first down, Wilson. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop any like that one. Second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Here's a give to Hall. And he'll push forward to the 37, gain of two. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Third and eight. Play action. It's Wilson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. Just straight money right there. The biggest drive of the game, a chance to win it in overtime. If they've been saving that play, they sure pulled it out at the right time. A huge turn of events there. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Play action. Now Wilson. Got a man. That's Lazard. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. Last play went for over 30 yards. This one not quite as big, but still over 20. Offensively, back-to-back, -back, really nice plays. This defense that got two timeouts maybe should burn one. Yeah, when you get back-to-back -back explosive plays, to me, anything over 10 yards, I don't care if it's a run or a pass, I count it as an explosive play. That sets your defense back on its heels. A timeout here would be a good idea and try and get themselves settled because we're an OT. This is big time. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. Brandon, I go ahead and kick it right now. I know it's only second down, but I kick it and give myself a little margin for error here. Don't wait for third. Have the extra down just in case. If something goes wrong, miss, messed up snap, anything like that, you fall on it, guess what? It's third down. You still have the ball. You still have a chance to kick it. And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one-yard line. 
It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. All right, well, they didn't kick it on second down, now third and goal. You have to kick it here. Absolutely have to kick it, because if you get a bad snap, you fall on it, you got a chance to kick it again on fourth down. Let's say it gets blocked and it's behind the line of scrimmage. You fall on it, you get another chance at it. Give yourself that option. Give yourself that opening. What a stand so far defensively, and now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. And I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. He's fighting, but they're not going to let him in. Stopped at the two-yard line. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And this Colts defense comes up with a goal line stand. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. First and 10 and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. This being their second opportunity in overtime. Third overall drive. See if they can settle into a rhythm. And that's what you're looking for. Get a few first downs. Move the ball downfield. Have some confidence. Get yourself in a spot where you can at least kick a field goal to win it. But I tell you this. If I'm the play caller, I'm looking at that part of my sheet that says playmakers. Get the ball in their hands. Critical situation. Now's their time. It's on a three on second down. But this one's incomplete. It's not about that. Here's Minshew. Now he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves his sticks. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. They give to Taylor out of the gun. The tackle by Quincy Williams. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second and five. Looking to throw it, Minshew. Throw left side complete. That's Taylor. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And now it's third and four. Brandon just moved that into the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. This now a third and four. Out of the gun is Minshew. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Minshew, first and ten. And going right back to Pittman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Partner, this is a pretty good drive they're putting together. And I know if I'm on the other sideline, that offense, kind of helpless, isn't it? Because they may not touch the football at all because they go down and score a touchdown. This thing's over. Absolutely. That would write an ending to this script. We'll see what happens. It'll be Minshew again. And connecting here with Pittman on the out route. And brought 
down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. That's the third time on this drive that these two connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. So first and 10 now from the 30. On the counter, it's Taylor. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He's had some big runs in this game. Not there, though. But I don't think they're going to be deterred by that play right there. He's had some nice runs in the game. And how many times have we seen a good running back get stopped, yet turn it into something big on a later carry? I'd stay with him. Second down, another run with Taylor. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for them. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Again, it's Taylor. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it, because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, breaking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Now the Jets are going to burn another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. So it all rests now on the right foot of the kicker, Matt Gay. This to win it in overtime. And he got it. The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And the Hoosier State will celebrate tonight as the Colts have won it. Another one in the books for his partner. Always great to be by your side. And... Look, both offenses, both defenses had some moments in this one, but I think you would agree these coaching staffs are also going to have some stuff to clean up on Phil. Absolutely, partner. And let's face it, any game we get to watch from up here, it's going to be a blast. Do we want to get a real job? Absolutely not. Let's keep watching the NFL all season long. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From MetLife Stadium, good night, everybody.